baby in my body. Something I thought I'd never feel, that I'd planned carefully not to. Felt like a, like a flicker, like candle flame. And the next week, the day came. The summer before, I had spent a lot of it learning Shakespeare's sonnets. And so I recited them and childhood songs and prayers to cover the sound of the vacuum because I had never liked the sound of vacuums ever since I was a kid. And I had went through the sorrowful, believing experience. He did come. He would have taken on the pain if he could have. He brought the peonies. I recovered, as I knew I would. Our lives went on. It was the right decision, as we knew it was, because our lives were our own. I would have loved. Every child just deserves to be welcomed and to be loved. And I would have resented a child that had asked my life of me. I love my living flicker, who gave me the gift of all biology. She's for me, okay? I love her. She brings out the best in me. Okay, well, what if you decide to have kids? <laughs> then we'll have kids, and they'll be half black and half white. Oh, Evan, be serious. I am being serious, Mom. This is for me. Fine. But I am not going to patch everything up in your life. Remember that. 